Hello there and welcome to this very quick little bonus film that I have for you today. Now, um, if you've been watching my vlogs recently, you'll know that I've been using these um, Zero tabs. Uh, they're electrolyte tabs, they're not actually energy tablets. Uh, and they're very easy to use. Basically, all you do is put one tablet in your bead on, fill it up with water, and then when you're out on a ride, you can top up your electrolytes, which apparently um, you sweat out uh, in hot weather. And they're quite important to uh, to help you maintain some sort of balance and just to feel normal. And, and as such, I've been using these for years and years and years, and they're absolutely fantastic. They're zero sugar and zero calories. Now, the thing that does kind of put me off them a little bit is the expense. I bought this particular tube from Wiggle, uh, and I think it was about eight pounds. There's 20 tablets in there, so um, even my basic maths can work out that that's about 40 pence per tablet. But then yesterday, I went down to my local Aldi, and I saw these uh, tropical flavor energy release tablets. Now they look on the surface to come in the same sort of packaging, uh, and they kind of essentially do the same thing. So. Um, the big difference was that these were 85 pence for 20 tablets, and that worked out to just over 4 pence a tablet. So obviously they're, they're about 10 times uh, less, or uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, zero tabs are 10 times the price of these. But, okay, on the surface they may look similar, but um, they, they might not have the same effective ingredients. So let's just have a look very, very quickly at the ingredients list that both um, packages have very conveniently put on the side. So it says here on the on the zero tabs that the magnesium contributes to electrolyte balance. So I'm guessing that the magnesium part is the really important bit for these uh, zero tabs. And if we look on the list, we can see that these tablets contain 56 milligrams of magnesium. Let's go over to the Aldi ones. Uh, and yes, they do indeed contain magnesium, uh, but they contain 102 milligrams. So 56 compared to 102, that's, that's roughly twice the amount, roughly. Okay, but let's have a look at the other ingredients, potassium. Um, which I think is probably another uh, component of the electrolyte part. That's 70 milligrams. Um, and as far as I can see, these don't have magnesium in them. Sorry, potassium in them. Uh, so let's come down again. Calcium, 9 milligrams in the uh, zero. And calcium, 120 milligrams. Uh, vitamin C, 28 milligrams in here, and vitamin C, 476 milligrams. Um, sodium, 250 milligrams. Sodium is basically salt, I would imagine. Um, and these don't contain sodium. So I suppose if you were desperate for sodium, you could just put a pinch of salt in these. Green tea, 1 milligram. Uh, and that's that. So no, these don't contain green tea at all. Okay, so on the surface, these 85 uh, pence tabs seem to be more or less the same contents as this eight pound um, tube of tablets. So, but just let's have a closer look at the ingredients. So these contain acidity regulators, citric acid, malic acid, sodium bicarbonate, uh, a firming agent, sorbitals, magnesium carbonate, uh, sodium citrate, potassium citrate, natural flavorings, beetroot concentrate, asorbic acid, that's vitamin C, calcium carbonate, chalk, sweetener, sucralose, uh, leucine, whatever that is, color, keratins, green tea leaves extract, uh, and sodium chloride, which is indeed salt. So let's just have a quick look at the ingredients list on here. So these contain citric acid, malic acid, acidity regulators, 
sodium carbonate, vitamin C, magnesium carbonate, carbonate uh, calcium carbonate, natural flavorings, maize starch, uh, niacin, which is vitamin B3, sweetener, sucralose, zinc sulfate, uh, panothet panothetic acid, riboflavorin 5, phosphate thiamine, vitamin B1 apparently, um, vitamin B6, beetroot juice powder, maltodextrin, beetroot juice from concentrate, grapefruit extract, folic acid, uh, biotin, and vitamin B12. So, more or less, they are roughly the same as the zero tab. So, basically, it's up to you. Do you want to spend eight pounds on a tube of electrolyte tablets or 85 pence? If you want to spend 85 pence, get yourself down to your local Aldi's. Thanks for watching.